you guys, Dennis and Kulika here. Hi. <laughs> Today we're going on a little drive. We wanted to go out, go to the north and look for a picnic spot. And we met somebody at a local place and they said they know of a spot, like a forest area. Go up there and it's really nice. But I think it's kind of creepy. I said, is there somewhere to picnic? And he said, oh no, there's no, no tables, but you can probably find a place and pull in and like near the road and have a picnic there. But we've been driving for quite a long time. I wasn't filming. There's just nobody here. It's just, it's like a deserted, deserted forest. Some are green like this and then all of a sudden trees are all dead. We'll probably see some more of that coming up. Now that the local guy said, yeah, there was a fire here in the spring. So you'll probably see some dead trees. And we did. We did see some, but you know, we're just going for a drive and looking looking for somewhere to have a picnic, but I don't know about this place. Kind of creepy. <laughs> like we, we like nice, private, uh, serene settings, but it's a little too private here. There's nobody. There's nobody around. Like, where is everybody? Yeah, where, wherever you go, it's like there are always people and looking for picnic spots. And especially now, when people are uh, trying to be in the nature, it's like there's nobody here. Just nothing. I think I'd want a picnic in there. It looks pretty dead. Lots of damage here from that fire. Yeah. And look at this road. It's it's a sand road. It's only sand. There's no gravel or anything. It's just it's like yeah, a big it's sandbox. A, it's just a natural soil here. So they just clear the clear to make that uh, road. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing put there on that road. And there's no cell reception in here. Our phones don't work. I wonder why, right? In the middle of nowhere. Yeah. The car, if the car just stops all of a sudden, I don't know what we do. There's, there's no reception. I don't think we're going to go too long here. I tell you the truth, I don't know how long it goes. This might go on for hours. I've never been here before. I've lived in this province all my life, but never come up here. What's the name of it, Gulica? <coughs> it's a uh, Fort Dalakoran forest. It's a uh, it's pretty big chunk of forest. And the local said also there's they're going to be doing some diamond mining here, right, Gulica? Yeah, so yeah, they it hasn't really started, but they they have been working on this uh, for about 10 years, I I've, I've heard and uh, it finally got approved, uh, I think uh, by the government in, uh, I think, last fall. So, but now because of that, what, whatever that <laughs> thing is going on, uh, everything is like slowed kind of down stopped and, and stopped. Yeah. But uh, so, and uh, the guy who we were talking to, he said uh, he actually has been involved with that project, and he said uh, they don't even know if uh, if it will gonna be any happening deal because uh, it's like they when they've been drilling, they've been actually crushing these diamonds and not much of a value will be left over so it might not be cost effective really to even do oh, it. Oh there's so. a deer running in the bush. Just, I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys seen that to the left. Yeah look at now there's some pretty heavy damage here on the right side of the road. It's all dead. Here to the left are younger trees who have been uh, more lucky. <laughs> you can see that the fire has just swept through the grass and uh, probably just 
like a grass fire and the lower branches of these young pine trees have burned but the trees themselves have survived so that's nice to see. Not all of them. <laughs> yeah but uh, some medium sized uh, younger trees are, have survived so they're gonna have more room to grow now. Yeah it looks like uh, fire has like, just really seriously swept through this side of the road. It's all dead here. Big trees. Too bad. Yeah, it's just one of these things. It's really sad, the forest fire. And always so many animals are suffering, and it's just really bad. We don't know what caused really this fire, but there are so many, so many things that could have caused it. And it's such a common thing here in the north. Like every year, there is like a fire season, so and the the, the smoke uh, quite often comes way down to Saskatoon where we live. So yeah, it's uh, lots of fires happening in the north here. Yeah, lots of them are starting from uh, uh, lightning, but uh, you're not always. We're gonna find a picnic spot somewhere, but. It'll be in an open area where there's more light. You get in the thick bush here, you don't see much. Hope you're enjoying this creepy forest drive. Doing something different, guys. We're not hiking. Pops in the back. She'll be enjoying the picnic with us when we find a place. Really thick sand on these roads. I'm struggling a bit with this car. <laughs> nice sand otherwise. Yeah, it's like like completely white, like uh, like on some fancy peach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really the beach, nice the beach is in the road, and it's very fine. Look at that! Wow. Oh. Yeah, pretty much everything is dead here. Do a Halloween video there. <laughs> we'll dress Gulaka up as a monster, you know, and put her out there. And... No, I'm kidding. It's not too pretty here. This is no beauty drive, guys. Now to add uh, more to the creepiness, uh, I think I even see those um, little dwarf uh, mistletoe parasites there on top of some of those trees. It's a kind of common problem here in this area. We haven't seen much of it here in this forest, but over there, over, way over there in the middle of the screen, back at the distance, like you see these uh, little uh, puffy uh, treetops. So this is actually some parasite tree that's growing on top of uh, other trees. Are re we recently found out so it's actually pretty ugly. <laughs> it's affecting certain kind of pine trees here. So if you guys know about that or if it, it is a common in, a common problem in your area, let us know. We'd like to know more about it. So it's um, here in the north in some areas uh, that are quite affected by it. It's a pretty ugly thing. <laughs> We're gonna try and find a little picnic spot guys. Before it gets dark. Not here. We'll, we'll drive a little bit yet and pull off the road a bit. I haven't found nothing really. I'll keep going for a little while. Hey guys, we found a little place to picnic. 
<laughs> off to the side of that creepy forest. <laughs> it's kind of creepy here too, isn't it? It is a creepy. It feels like some uh, some uh, big animal would uh, crawl out from the bush anytime. <laughs> it's a huge forest of bears and all kinds of animals. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we're gonna we're gonna picnic here, and then we'll continue on out of this creepy forest before it gets dark. Who knows what's lurking in the bush? <laughs> and guys, check my do out. <laughs> the start of this video, we're just showing you the creepy forest drive, so you didn't see me, but yeah, I cut my hair again. I'll put a link below to a video I did three months ago when I I bought some hair trimmer, clipper, and I cut my own hair, and I did it again. So, so now it would have cost me about 50 bucks for a haircut, like with the two haircuts, and I paid $92 for it, so I'm more than halfway there to paying it off. <laughs> So let's enjoy our little picnic here in this creepy forest. There's the campsite, and there's the pup. You're gonna eat, Cassie. You're gonna eat in the creepy forest. <laughs> there's the car, nice and close. <laughs> so what do we got to eat tonight, Kulika? That's some egg sandwiches I made. Yeah. The same kind of sandwiches like we usually have, like with uh, with eggs, uh, then uh, salt, pepper, uh, grated cheese, and uh, herbs from the garden, like uh, dill and parsley and uh, uh, chives and that kind of stuff. Yeah, nothing fancy, but we're and starving. Mayonnaise yeah. to bind it all together. Yeah. yeah, we're starving. Look at the pup. She's hungry, and we got water too. We have a lot of water with a really hot day today, guys. It's, it's uh, really hot, like uh, so exhausted. Yeah. Yeah, we were hoping we'll get to some uh, lake uh, to to take a dip, but then we never made never it. Never got so there. We're feeling really uh, overheated. <laughs> it's 32 or 90, 90 Fahrenheit, so 32 Celsius. Uh, creepy forest. We're just parked off to the side of this creepy forest. Yeah, we'll continue the video and do the outro in the car, and this time we'll remember the outro. The last video we forgot. But we'll, we'll, we'll keep continuing to drive out of here. So guys, we're gonna end the video here. Hope you enjoyed watching this creepy drive here. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. <clears throat> yeah, and, I was pretty happy to get back to the car. <laughs> yeah, and, and hope you enjoyed our picnic. <laughs> it was good, but I was constantly looking, looking around like, is there anything here? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's so quiet, like there's no one around. Yeah, there's something about this place. It's like, it, it's not like one of these places where you just want to sit and enjoy endlessly. Just sit and uh, close your eyes and relax. So. For some reason, there's nothing relaxing about this place. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe if you're new here. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.